Hello, this is my next, my second video for my daughter. Um, this topic is going to be the topic of fear. So I wanted to start by saying that, that do not fear or fear not is the most often repeated verse of the Bible. It's not don't smoke, don't drink, you know, don't curse. It's do not fear. And I say that because I want you to know that those are genuinely words to live by. Now, there is one fear that is good to have, and that's a healthy fear of the Lord, okay? Um, and saying do not fear or be fearless doesn't mean to live irrationally or to live without precaution or to not use logic in your decisions. No, ma'am. <laughs> It just means don't let the fear of the unknown stop you from doing things you might otherwise do. Um, don't fear the opinions of others to the extent that they cripple you in your happiness. Um, be secure and happy in your self-worth. And if you can get that foundation, very little else can ever rock you. Um, can ever shake you to your core. Sometimes life is going to present uh, opportunities. Sometimes you're going to be at a crossroads. Sometimes you're going to be stuck trying to decide between what feels good and what you know is the right thing to do. And all I can ask of you in that moment, Audrina, is that you um, do what you know is the right, fair thing to do. Don't be worried about what other people might think of you. Don't be worried about whether you're going to be popular for making that decision. Don't be worried if you're going to get scrutinized or, or be thought of critically by others. Because I can promise you, you will never, ever please everyone and any, everyone. You can't do that. You just It's impossible. You need to please everyone and be able yourself you need to be able to rest at night knowing that you did the best that you could and that you did what you knew was right so if your concern is i'm afraid of what they'll think i'm afraid of what they'll say no ma'am you need to just say you know what i know i'm doing the right thing i know i'm leading kindly i know that i'm choosing wisely i know that i'm not letting fear take control of me okay because your dad and i will always support whatever big dreams you have um you know we're gonna be that voice of reason when maybe emotion takes over because it always does i mean we've all been there um but i don't ever want you to be afraid of what's just beyond that next step or beyond the door. Um, always be hopeful. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of, about something that I did. You might be surprised to know. After mommy finished law school, she wanted to pursue music. Mommy's always saying, you know that. Um, I love to sing to you. And I just wanted to know what it would be like to live in a city that allows you to grow as a musician, as a singer, songwriter. So mommy told Grandpa Tony and told Mimi that she wanted to move to Nashville. And they thought I was, they probably thought I was crazy, honestly. But you know what? They never let it on. They never let me know how crazy and how much they probably wanted me not to go forward with that, with that decision. I had never been in Tennessee. I didn't have any family in Tennessee. I didn't have any friends except for one law school friend there in Tennessee. And I think I had $700 to my name. I just went for it. I went for it. I struggled. But we always come out stronger because of our struggles. We need to look at our struggles as opportunities to grow. Opportunities to um do right the right thing like every struggle has a lesson every struggle has meaning and every struggle will come to an end don't be afraid of the struggles this is just a path you have to walk on 
because God knows you can come out on the other side. So again, don't let that fear cripple you, you know, control you, um, especially fear of what others think or, or, I mean, of course you don't want to have a, a poor reputation. You don't want people to think that, oh, you're, you can't be depended on or you can't be, um, you know, re you're not reliable or, you know, you're flaky or, or that you make bad choices necessarily. You just want to be focused on making mommy and daddy proud, making yourself proud, and making Jesus proud. I mean, really, that's all you need to be worried about. Um, everything else, every season of change, every season of doubt, it will come, it will go. You will laugh about situations in the future that you can't seem to get past right now. So don't be afraid. Um, and what else would I say to you about this topic about fear? Um, I, like I said, a healthy dose of fear of the Lord is good uh, because I know that I have a responsibility um, as a child of God to praise, worship God, thank God, honor God. Um, and so I do worry about that. And I don't know if I would say fear and worry are the same thing. Um, I think fear is just more crippling than worry. I think there's a, everyone's going to worry no matter what, you know, I worry about things all the time, but fear, I feel like prevents people from experiencing their ultimate happiness or experiencing life in their best form, fear. It prevents us, it cripples us. Um, and I don't want you to ever feel fear, you know, anything really. Um, although mommy is very afraid of cockroaches. Like, I don't know why, but I'm super afraid of cockroaches. Anyway, honey, I love you. And I will make another video for you as soon as I can think of a topic. <laughs>